The Dark Secrets of the Bloody Bridgewater, a true Wisconsin murder story from the 1800s. In the late 1800s, Wisconsin was a rapidly growing state, bustling with immigrants seeking new opportunities in America. Amidst the thriving communities, however, there were dark secrets lurking. In this essay, we will delve into the chilling true story of a gruesome murder that took place in Bridgewater, Wisconsin, in 1873. The events that unfolded would forever cast a shadow over the town and its inhabitants. Chapter 1, The Settlers In the early 1870s, the Bridgewater region was a thriving agricultural community attracting many immigrants, particularly from Germany. One such immigrant was Johann Schmidt, a hard-working farmer who had moved to Wisconsin with his wife, Maria, and their two young children. The Schmidts were well-liked in the community and quickly became an integral part of the local social fabric. At around the same time, another German immigrant, Peter Weber, arrived in Bridgewater with his wife, Helene, and their three children. The Webers and the Schmidts became close friends, sharing their cultural heritage and their dreams for a better future in America. Little did they know that their lives would soon become intertwined in a twisted tale of murder and deception. Chapter 2, The Disappearance In the summer of 1873, Johann Schmidt went missing. His sudden disappearance alarmed the community, and Maria was frantic with worry. Despite extensive searches, no trace of Johann could be found. As the days turned into weeks, Maria was forced to face the reality that her husband might never return. The Webbers offered their support to Maria and her children during this difficult time, and they soon became a lifeline for the grieving widow. Helene Weber, in particular, became a pillar of strength for Maria, helping her run the farm and care for her children. As the months passed, the two families grew closer, and rumors began to circulate that Maria and Peter Weber were becoming more than just friends. Chapter 3, The Grizzly Discovery In the spring of 1874, a local farmer made a horrifying discovery in a remote area of the woods near Bridgewater. Buried beneath a shallow layer of dirt and leaves was a decomposing body, which was soon identified as the missing Johann Schmidt. The corpse bore unmistakable signs of foul play, and the authorities quickly launched a murder investigation. The townspeople were shocked and horrified by the gruesome discovery, and suspicion quickly fell upon Maria Schmidt and Peter Weber. Their increasingly close relationship had not gone unnoticed, and many believed that they had conspired to murder Johann in order to be together. Chapter 4, The Arrests and Confessions in the weeks following the discovery of Johann's body, the authorities gathered enough evidence to arrest Maria Schmidt and Peter Weber on suspicion of murder. As the case proceeded, it became clear that the two had indeed conspired to kill Johann, driven by their forbidden love. During their separate interrogations, Maria and Peter both confessed to their roles in the murder. They detailed a chilling plan in which Peter would ambush Johann in the woods, bludgeoning him to death with a blunt instrument. They would then bury the body and concoct a story about Johann leaving town unexpectedly. However, their plan began to unravel when Johann's body was discovered, and the weight of guilt and suspicion became too much to bear. Chapter 5, The Trial and Sentencing The trial of Maria Schmidt and Peter Weber was a sensation in Bridgewater and the surrounding communities. The gruesome details of the murder, combined with the salacious nature of their love affair, captivated the public's attention. The evidence against the two was overwhelming, and both Maria and Peter were found guilty of first-degree murder. They were sentenced to life in prison, a punishment that seemed fitting for their heinous crime. As Maria and Peter were led away in chains, the townspeople of Bridgewater struggled to come to terms with the shocking events that had unfolded in their midst. The once trusted friends and neighbors had become cold-blooded murderers, and their actions had left a family torn apart and a community reeling in disbelief. Chapter 6, The Aftermath In the years that followed, the Schmidts and the Webbers became a dark cautionary tale in Bridgewater. Their story served as a stark reminder of the depths to which human beings could sink when consumed by passion and greed. 
The families they left behind struggled to pick up the pieces and move forward. Maria's children were taken in by relatives, who did their best to shield them from the horrors of their mother's actions. The Weber children, too, were taken in by family members and raised with the knowledge of their father's terrible crimes. As time passed, the memory of the bloody Bridgewater murder began to fade, and the town gradually regained a semblance of normalcy. However, the story of Maria Schmidt and Peter Weber would never be forgotten, a chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk beneath the surface of even the most seemingly idyllic communities. Conclusion The true story of the bloody Bridgewater murder is a chilling tale of passion, betrayal, and cold-blooded murder. It serves as a cautionary tale of the destructive power of unchecked desire and the depths to which human beings can sink when driven by lust and greed. The case also offers a window into the social and cultural dynamics of late 19th century Wisconsin, highlighting the challenges faced by immigrant communities as they sought to build new lives in a foreign land. The Schmitz and the Webers were, in many ways, typical of the thousands of German immigrants who flocked to the region in search of opportunity and a better life. Yet, their story also serves as a stark reminder that, beneath the veneer of respectability and community spirit, darker impulses can lurk, waiting to be unleashed. In the end, the bloody Bridgewater murder serves as a chilling testament to the darker side of human nature and the lasting scars that acts of violence can leave on individuals, families, and communities.